On Mexico City's public transportation system, body-to-body -body contact is inescapable, especially during rush hour, where scenes like this pin strangers uncomfortably close. But many women in Mexico City say that not all contact on the metro and public buses is incidental. It's horrible. They don't respect you. It doesn't matter whether you're young, pretty, big, or old. They don't respect you. So, if you're sitting like this on this side, men might start putting their, their little instrument on your arm and start rubbing. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have to have short skirts or, you know, a cleavage or anything. You just hear those comments all the time. It's like a common thing. So, yeah, as a woman, you do get very bad every day. What happens is that women here stay quiet. And to the few of us that will say something, the men suddenly get scared. So you have to speak. If someone touches you, say something. In response to almost daily complaints of sexual harassment on public transportation, Mexico City last month created a new line of buses for women only. And these buses are quickly becoming a hit. Oh, <laughs> Solo damas, estamos contentas porque tenemos nuestro camión solo para nosotras. Está muy bien el servicio porque The service is very good because we have seats. We're comfortable. We were never given a seat. Nos dan el asiento. Que ya hicieron algo para nosotras. They finally did something for us, something significant. ¿Por qué? Porque siempre Because here we're always squeezed so tightly with the men. Apretadas. So we're feeling a little bit freer. Beyond the initial confusion of being rejected from a public bus, the reactions from men have varied. It's good because women here are so harassed. Truly, in this society, there's no culture of respect for women. We men have an animal instinct that we can't control, and that's bad. Women are also to blame because they wear skirts that expose their knee, and you can see their breasts. It didn't used to be that way. The atmosphere on the women-only buses is peaceful and less crowded than on the co-ed ones only there are still relatively few on Mexico City streets. And although they come less frequently, riders like Rosa Tamariz say women-only buses are worth the extra wait. I wait for the women-only buses because they're safer. It doesn't matter that I have to wait 20 minutes longer, because I have the time. The experiment with single-sex buses cannot possibly solve the underlying problem of how sexes interact in Mexico City. But next month, a new ordinance will take effect that will make it easier to prosecute those found harassing women in public spaces. And in the meantime, the metro is still co-ed. I couldn't move like, like that. I got out. It was just one stop.